हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर् यूट्यूब झानल रैलवे इंजीनियरी बै सुबारा टूडे अवर टापिक इज रैलवे कर्स पार्टी एटीन इन रैलवे कर्स पार्टी एटीन रिवर्स कर्स दिस पार्टी एटीन वीडियो हाज बीन एक्सप्लेन अबउट रिवर्स कर्स वाट इज रिवर्स कर्स वेर अंड वाट सर्कमस्टेस रिवर्स कर्स शल बी प्रोवैडेड इफ यू प्रोवैडेड रिवर्स कर्स देन वाट आर् दि Repercussions. Next, what is a reverse curve? A reverse curve is a combination of two circular curves of contrary flexor that is having opposite direction of radius from the center. Two curves of opposite flexor separated by small tangent or straight length in between will be. called as a reverse curve next what circumstances reverse curve to be provided reverse curves are introduced in the track when the track alignment is to be shifted laterally by and large parallel to the original direction such a shifting is required at different layout locations where there is some obstruction in the form of any structure water body hill etc next where should be provided where we need extra space between tracks such as for construction of structures such as bridges tunnels platforms etc and also for providing temporary are permanent diversions and for this purpose we introduce a pair of reverse curves into the track next connecting of two circular curves is in the opposite direction have two conditions condition number 1 in case of straight between reverse curves on high speed roads a minimum length of straight is required to be provided between curves of contrary flexor this straight is required so that the vibrations induced in the vehicle at the end of one car die out before the vehicle enters the next car in the absence of adequate straight length the oscillations of the first car will be interfere with the oscillations of the second car and the passengers will be discomforted this requirement is especially important at higher speeds therefore the desirable length of straight between two reverse curves is 50 meters next for high speeds in group a and b routes a straight with a minimum length of 50 meter shall be kept between two transitions of reverse curves where there is a straight track between two reverse curves the curves are independent of each other and the formula for calculating the length of transitions for simple curve will be applicable next condition number 2 in case of no straight between reverse curves if this minimum length cannot be provided the two curves shall be so extended as to eliminate the straight in between that is common tptc for both simple curves the rate of change of cant and versine along the two transitions shall be kept the same so that the vehicle moves over curves with the same period of roll if such is the condition the desirable length of transition shall be calculated next whenever such a straight between reverse curves can neither be eliminated nor the straight length increase it to over 50 meters speed in excess of 130 km should not be permitted dear friends welcome back reverse curves 
what is reverse curve reverse curve is a combination of two simple curves in opposite direction with a different radius here it is this is one curve this is other curve combination of two simple curves with opposite direction this is in contrary flexure what is the necessity of reverse curves how to form for example this is down line track it is a straight of course up line also it is a straight due to construction of major bridge this track center has been increased here it is track center it is less 5.3 something here it is more due to difference of track centers reverse curve is necessary to provide next i was shown two occasions number 1 so this is a major bridge location major bridge location so this is the bridge this is original alignment of up line to connect the this line it is necessary to provide the reverse curve similarly here also to connect the original alignment it needs reverse curves on both sides this is curve number 1 curve number 2 reverse curve so this is one set of reverse curve here also curve number 1 curve number 2 this is other set of reverse curve similarly in station yards that is platform lines so this is down line this is reversible line both train both directions trains may pass then this is up line if platform is not there this alignment supposed to be like this because of this platform this tc has been changed so between two parallel tracks when track center is increased due to change of alignment for construction of bridge similarly here also for construction of platform when track center is increased or decreased so reverse curves are to be provided set of reverse curve are enlarged here for providing reverse curves there are two conditions next condition number 1 this is one tangent this is other tangent this is common tangent for both the curves for setting out of curves needs deflection angle and tangent next for this curve this is radius 1 for this curve radius 2 in between both the curves there is a straight the minimum length of straight between two opposite curves is 50 meter for this curve tptc1 tptc2 again for this curve tptc1 tptc2 in between tptc2 of first curve and tptc1 of second curve it is a straight portion this straight portion should be at least 50 meters in group a and b faster roads then comes to second condition this is tangent 1 tangent 2 this is common tangent this is curve number 1 this is curve number 2 in opposite direction for this curve number 1 this is tptc1 this is for curve number 1 this is tptc2 in the same point tptc1 of curve number 2 so that means this is common tptc for both the curves so in common tptc means no straight in between curves this is called as s curve also so in this situation length of transition is the maximum of the following length of transition is equal to 0.0056 into ca1 plus ca2 into maximum speed 
CA1 means actual count for curve number 1. CA2 means actual count for curve number 2. Similarly, here also, length of transition is equal to 0.0056 into count deficiency 1, that is count deficiency for curve number 1, CD2 count deficiency for curve number 2 into VM. Next, third one, length of transition is equal to 0 0.72 into actual count of curve number 1 plus curve number 2. So, this is the second condition. Whereas, condition number 1, this is one curve, this is other curve. For calculation of transition portion, we can calculate independently for each curve. So, no problem at all. Since straight track more than 50 meters in between both curves. So, it will act as independent curves. All these things are one aspect. Next, other aspect is while maintaining the this reverse curve. This curve, so that means what sign may be shift either this side or this side. Similarly, this also. Therefore, if there is no straight between reverse curves, it will be very difficult to maintain the junction of the two curves. As a good practice, it is desirable to have some straight length between reverse curves. Next, for speed concerned, minimum straight of 50 meter between both reverse curves, it is fit for higher speeds. Similarly, this common TPTC also fit for higher speeds. Whereas, straight between two curves less than 50 meter means the speed is up to 130 kmph. Since while passing the vehicle, the vibration induced curve number 1 of it is continued curve number 2 due to inadequate length of straight portion in between two curves. Okay friends, thank you for watching this video. If you are interested, kindly like, subscribe, share your friends group and ask them to subscribe such more technical and valuable videos. Thank you. Thank you very much.